Today's topic, the Emirates interview. Hi, Orlando from Wishcasting. We'll be touching the following points. What are the steps to the interview? What questions do they ask? And how do I confidently pass every step? We're not paid for these videos, so subscribing and liking helps us a lot. First, I'd like to state that I've worked in the airline industry for a long time. I've worked for Emirates and I've passed their interview. Second, I'd like to state that out of 800 applicants at my interview, only seven passed. Watching this video will prepare you, make you more confident and win over other applicants. Third, if you fail the interview, you can always try again after six months. To apply for Emirates, you need to do it over the internet. You should check their website to find where and when recruitments happen. They could be in your country. I'll put a link to all the recruitments they have in the description below. The interview lasts depending on the amount of applicants. In my case, we were around 800 applicants in Rome, so it took us three days. The first day is the CV drop-off. All you need is a CV with a passport picture. The recruiter will ask you, what's your current job? Why Emirates? And have you any experience in aviation? You have one minute or less to strike them as interesting, so use it as much as you can. Once this part is over, you'll head back home and wait for an email or a phone call to invite you to a second day. If the phone call doesn't happen, then you haven't been chosen. More than half of the candidates get discarded at this point, so make your CV powerful. Strike them. A little warning here, this video explains the structure of the interview. If you're here for successful tricks on passing the Emirates interview, check the next episodes. It'll give you a huge advantage over other applicants. Subscribe not to miss it. The second day is a presentation of the company and group tests. You'll receive a sticker and a number to put on your chest for identification. 20 to 25 candidates sit in a circle and work in pairs. Candidates are to learn as much as they can of their partner, so to present them in front of the whole group. While the candidates do this, the recruiters will observe and take notes. You speak for one minute and your format should be like this. Hi everyone, I'd like to present you my colleague Sarah. She's 24, has a degree in marketing, and she's currently working as a sales assistant in a jewelry store. She enjoys interacting with customers and likes helping them find the right products in the store. Um, she's a very friendly person and enjoys new challenges. She loves animals and plays football twice a week. The second activity is an English test. I would say it's easy, but it's harder than other airlines. The third activity is done in larger groups, 25 candidates in groups of five. Each group receives a card representing an item. The objective of the activity is to find a purpose for that item in a survival situation. I'll give you my example when I was recruited. Our card was an umbrella. Our ideas were to use the nylon part as a water gathering device, the stick as a hunting weapon, and the curved part to reach tree branches to gather fruit. The fourth and final group test is the most complicated and stressing one. You go in groups of six to eight people. You're a hotel manager. Seven guests show up for their room and only three rooms are available. The guests are a VIP, a politician, a hotel reviewer, a family with a sick child, a loyal customer to your hotel. I can't remember more than those now. Your group has to choose who gets a room and who doesn't and why. You have around five minutes. After this stressful decision, every candidate will be acting as a hotel manager. The recruiter will act as a furious guest who you've denied the room to. The recruiter will try his or her best to intimidate you by assaulting you verbally. The objective is to see how you handle stress. Once you've solved and fixed the situation in a satisfactory way, the recruiter will then move on to the next candidate. Again, the recruiters are observing how you cooperate within the group. The answers you give are important, yes, but the decision making is king. Nobody should aggressively talk over anyone and nobody should be overly passive. Focus on being assertive and proactive. The next step is the psychometric test, a mix of several questions asked in different ways just to understand your psychology. It must be completed within 25 minutes. This is usually done over the computer. If you're at this stage, you're almost done, so congratulations. But there's a final step, the final interview. It's either done on the same place of your interview, so face to face, or it's done over the computer. The common questions you're asked are, where do you see yourself in five years? Tell me a situation where you've solved something under big stress. Tell me a situation where you've offered great customer service. If you pass this stage, you're practically in. You'll need to wait for the so-called golden call that confirms your employment and constantly check your employment status on the Emirates portal. You'll need to wait here. They could keep you on a hold for several days or months depending on how many people they require. I'll give you all the tips I know to crush an Emirates interview on our next episode. 
Subscribe if you want more stuff like this. We do travel guides too. Feel free to take a look at our popular low cost travel guides up here. We'd love to know your experience in the comments below. If you have any other questions, just ask and I will reply. Our challenge is to make videos every week. The topics we cover are things we're experts on. Hopefully, that'll get us some more visibility. As always, it is my pleasure to do videos. Hope you liked it. Keep it rolling, guys. Bye.